Wolfmix W1 supports multibars. That's when a single fixture can have several beams. So here we've got the American DJ Mega Tri-Bar. So this has several beams. Each beam can emit an RGB or an RGBW light. So I'm going to add these in Wolfmix. So I hit here to add a fixture. I go to American DJ and I select Mega Tri Bar and I'm going to add two of these. This bar has several different modes. I'm going to use this in 54 channel mode which allows me to have separate control of every beam. And I'm going to put these in group A. Now it says this fixture has more than one beam. Would you like to split this fixture? If I press yes, it's going to create a completely different fixture type for every beam. This isn't so important for this fixture. This is more for multi effects bars, which I'm going to come on to later. So for now, I'm going to just press no. Here we have the two fixtures and we can see the two fixtures are lit up in easy view. I'm going to press home. Now I'm going to trigger a color effect. We haven't done color effects yet, but there's a tutorial on this. I'm going to trigger a chaser effect. Now if you have a look, the chaser effect is going forwards in the first light and backwards in the second light. And the reason for this is because the second light has been mounted in the wrong direction. So, you know, this can be a pain. You have to take the ladders, you have to go up the truss, or you have to lower the truss and invert the light. Well, Wolfmix has a little feature which allows you to very quickly flip that fixture. So if I go back to the home screen, I go to my fixture setup. I'm going to select the second Mega Tri Bar here, and then I'm going to click the flip button. Once I've tapped flip, this little icon appears here. And if I hit the home button, you see now the effect is running in the correct order. 